Motor Tattooing. Uh, we're at the shop today, and we have come to talk to you about the ABCDEs of moles and tattooing with them. All right. Okay, now that's over with. Moles. We made a video about freckles, which you can watch. I'll put a link there. And uh, yeah. It's a lot of fun to try and figure out how to work with these things. But moles are, moles are different than freckles, right? And we need to pay attention to tattooing over moles because sometimes they can be things that can harm a person, right? Uh, there's a bunch of different types. We're not going to go into every single type of them because uh, uh, there's a lot. <laughs> and I would probably have to do a video on each one to try and explain why they're significant or not. And if you want that, put it in the show comments. We can make those for you. But... This is just identifying what moles that maybe we can tattoo on, around, or over, and other ones that we need to send the client to the dermatologist to make sure they get checked out, right? Uh, and it, as a tattooer, your first line of defense, if somebody's getting a lot of work and you see something, and you get to see this person many times over you know, a period of years, you could save their life if you make this identification. So, pay attention, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, the ABCDEs of moles, and identifying to see if there's going to be a problem with them. The first one is A stands for asymmetry. Asymmetry. Okay. And what does asymmetry mean? It means not symmetrical. So if we see something that is round and it seems to be equal and spacing across and back and forth, we know that that probably is going to be okay for the most part, right? It's when things get kind of weird and they look imbalanced, one side is bigger than the other, and maybe there's even crazy margins and stuff that are going around them. It's just even if it's just imbalanced, where one is moving out and it comes around, right? Uh, those are things that we want to look for because this is not technically normal. I mean, it could be normal, but it's something to pay attention to, uh, which when we're going to go through all these, if you tie all of them together and you're hitting something on them that just seems to be out of normal, then you need to make sure that somebody is going to go and get this checked out. Um, what I normally do is when we're placing the stencil on people, however big it is, um, I'll have a marker next to me as I'm going through and making sure everything is set right and all the lines are connected and da 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 da. And if I see a mole that's inside the uh, tattoo, I'm going to check to see if it's asymmetrical first, right before I even start doing the tattoo. And I'll go by and I'll just put a little dot next to it. Almost like you're doing like a walkthrough for construction site rate deficiencies and stuff. You want to make sure you check this out before you get finished. And if there's a whole bunch of them that seem a little bit off, I'll make marks on them and I'll take a picture and I'll keep it for storage because as this uh, client is going to age and as things change, if we see that symmetry changing, which is actually going to be one of the things down a little bit further, um, then we're going to have a record of it and we can make sure that they go to the dermatologist to get it tested. Right? Um, there's my notes here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know this stuff, but I've been working 17 hour days. My brain is a little bit slower now, I apologize. Um, B is gonna be, um, we're just gonna do borders, right? So this is gonna be the edges around um, any of the, the actual moles that we're gonna see. If we see the moles, we'll just put a dot there to keep track of that, where it looks like they're really irregular. We should actually do that border irregularity. Um, and it looks like, you know, an ink drop, like watercolor ink drop or something falling on the skin, uh, and they're not symmetrical, then we know that, like, we really need to take a chance to make a mark, right, take a picture and try to keep track of it. Um, the irregular borders could be... Uh, irregular cells growing out at varying rates, right? Instead of something, let's say that maybe the mole had started out totally round, but it's starting to spread out and move a bit more. It could signify something like that. At the same time, it could be totally fine based on the type which a dermatologist would be able to identify, or we can do videos about it to help you do that as well. Um, the next one's gonna be our color, right? Um, usually if things are gonna be brown and black, brown or black, uh, melanin, right? Like that, that U melanin or even feel melanin, if they're gonna have kind of like a steady consistent tone and color throughout them, uh, that's usually gonna be a darker tone compared to the skin around them, then we should be fine, right? Um, if you start seeing red, orange, or yellows inside of them, and specifically reds, right? That's when we need to start worrying about it. If you have an irregular shaped pattern or growth on the skin and there is, oh, I've got a red pen here, don't I? Shucky darn, there we go. And there is speckling of red throughout it. 
that that's something that needs to get looked at like ASAP. Okay. Um, you can usually, if, if the mole is relatively small, and we'll even select some of those really small ones might pop up. We're looking at the surface of the skin and they're kind of a little bit of a growth. Uh, take a peek and go ahead and grab your eye loop, which I say everyone should have a light eye loop inside the, uh, uh, the shop. Hold it up and just keep it just a little distance away from the skin and identify it. If you see something that just kind of looks weird compared to the other moles that we have on the body, tag it, put a mark next to it, take a picture, shoot it off to your client via text or email and let them talk to their dermatologist to make sure that everything is okay. Right? Simple, easy, good. Um, oh yeah, the last one is diameter. Wait, that's, there's the color. All right, I already know this. Uh, diameter, yeah, so if we see anything that is gonna be on average <laughs> greater than, or is it greater than, right, symbol, uh, four to six millimeters in, th in, in width, the diameter across, right, then they need to probably go and have that checked out just to make sure that things are going to be uh, monitored, right? And that's gonna go along with our next one, which is actually the evolution, right? So if we see changes, that is something that we need to pay attention to and a doctor needs to look at. If there is no changes, right, then we can be sure that you know, this maybe is not going to be you know, cancerous. So if we see red dots inside of uh, wide diametered, uh, border irregular asymmetrical skin growth that is constantly changing that's dangerous and somebody needs to go get it checked out right if we see a constant color in a symmetrical diameter base that's lower than four millimeters that does not change the mole is good to go cool beans so there's our quick one on moles if you like it uh, subscribe leave a comment hit that button up set the bell i don't know uh, and check out our swag shop. Go and buy some of our sweaters. We, we're almost monetized, people. This will be the last video for monetization. So thank you very much for everyone who's watched. Uh, and until next time, this is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.